brought to you by 1AAuto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet. Hi everyone, I'm Don from 1AAuto.com. In this series of videos, we're going to be focusing on vehicle diagnostics and maintenance tips. We hope that you find it helpful, and when you need parts for your car or truck, think of 1AAuto.com. Thanks. In this video, we're going to talk to you about brake fluid, the history of it, and maintaining the brake system in your car or truck. Uh, why is it important to do this? Well, of course, you need your brakes to stop. Um, but more importantly, the brake fluid uh, needs to be clean and moisture free. Over the time it breaks down, moisture gets trapped inside and it uh, doesn't allow the brake system to fully function the way it's supposed to. Now, when it comes from the factory, there's a max line and a minimum line. There's a brand new car or truck with uh, markings for the brake level, uh, fluid level. Uh, when it starts out, it's good to see it right there at the top and as you wear those brakes out, um, the fluid expands more into the calipers, thus going down on the line. It's a good indicator for when you need brakes serviced. Now, if you've got the used car or don't have all the history of it, it's not a big deal. You just want to maintain it on a top level. Always have your brakes checked um, and make sure it isn't dirty. You can see from behind us, this truck has some pretty dirty fluid. It might indicate that there's some moisture in it. Um, so what kind of brake fluid do I use? Well, there's a bunch of different types. There's pre-DOT or Department of Transportation's um, specification for brake fluid. Um, so there's pre-DOT and there's DOT2, number two. And those were alcohol or castor, base, castor oil based brake fluids. Uh, those aren't really used anymore. Then you've got the brake through uh, DOT3, DOT4, and DOT5.1. And those are all glycol based. And then you've got DOT5, and that is a silicone based. The beauty of the silicone based is that it won't harm your paint if you, if you uh, spill some on it. Now, you never want to top one off with another, uh, particularly pre-DOT and DOT2, if you can get your hands on that. That's not used these days, but you can only replace four with 5.1 and three with four. Um, you never mix the silicone with the glycol base, which is five, two, three, four, or 5.1. So let's go ahead and show you a little bit about this brake um, master cylinder and how we can kind of just maintain that brake fluid. All right, so I'm gonna flush out very basically the master cylinder and I bought a battery acid filler which also works for brake fluid um, at a auto parts store it was about four dollars and fifty cents so uh, it's not all that expensive and this holds up to brake fluid battery acid so it won't uh, won't just kind of melt on you so what I'm going to do is clean off the cap make sure that the area around the master cylinder is clean cap aside go ahead in and just start pulling out the brake fluid being careful not to spill it because you don't want it to get on paint. All right, I'm not going to take all of it out because I don't want any air to get into the lines. And I'm going to go ahead with my dot three brake fluid, fill it back up. back to where the line was before so I can still have some indication of how my brakes are and reseal it. We hope this video helps you out. Brought to you by 1AAuto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet. Please feel free to call us toll free 888-844-3393. We're the company that's here for you on the internet and in person.